So what is the big fuss about? I myself was wondering why is everybody from agencies, marketing agencies, all the way to coders, gaming programmers, and other AI builders so afraid of chat GPT. So if you come over here to YouTube and you'll go through all of these videos, you'll see uh, people are making money with chat GPT. People are creating apps and programs with GTP. But then there's a community of people that, as far as I can tell, want to boycott GPT, chat GPT. And the reason is, is it will be making a lot of people obsolete and their jobs will be obsolete. So imagine going to these coding boot camps for 12 weeks, 12 months, or if you went to college for all of this stuff, only for somebody to come out with a technology that renders you uh, unnecessary in your skill set. OK, so this is what chat GPT will grow into. So I'm going to show you I have my list right here. Um, the people that can benefit, whether as marketing agencies, SEO agencies, Facebook ad agencies, Google ad agencies, and then people that are going to look at this as a disadvantage and why they might not want to look at this as a disadvantage. If you can harness the power of this, this can make your life a lot easier. So I'm going to go over to chat GPT and I'm going to show you some examples. So first, we're going to start off with a little bit of simple code uh, that might frighten a few people. OK. If you uh, are a coder, then you might say, dang, what the heck is this? So watch this. Basically, all you need to do is ask a question. You need to know what to ask. What is your request for chat GPT? Like, what do you want it to do? I'll say um, write code for a simple fighting <laughs> game app. Watch this. This is awesome. Look at this. All right, so it's, it's creating a game right there, the outline for the characters and everything. <laughs> Look at this right here. So imagine you went to Full Sail University or one of these different colleges or programming schools or something, and now Chat GPT comes out and you're like, dude, like, look at all those years. Now, you still want to have the human element to it, guys, because this is programming and everything. It has no human element to it yet. Eventually, as AI becomes you know, more intelligent and as they start adding like uh, machine learning to chat GPT, then it will be like you're actually talking to a human on the other side. So basically what it's doing right now is it's giving us the instructions to make it actually work. So right here, this is just a little example of coding, the characters, how to make it a tag, how to take damage, the health and all of that stuff. OK, that's cool, right? That's that's super cool, right? But now watch this. So like I said, if you're a coder, this might be a little scary for you, but you can harness this. And I'm going to show you some ways. Now watch this. Write code for um, uh, content website content locker <laughs> look at this look is writing the code for a website content locker i didn't know like <laughs> listen i remember a couple years ago i was trying to figure out how to create my own content locker uh for cpa marketing and everything like that because i didn't like theirs and they had all these rules and i was like dude if i could create my own custom one then i'll be good right man listen this is crazy. This is crazy. Now, you can decide if you want things to be in P, uh, PHP or HTML. And if this stuff is technical, keep watching, guys, because you don't have to have any experience in this. You pretty much just tell it what you want. And it does. It. It's like a fast food menu for for building and creating. <laughs> OK, so we're going to delete this and I'm going to give you something a little bit more known, you know, for you guys. It might be interesting. Watch this. Write code for um uh <laughs> write code for uh article spinner in html look at this so you can create your own article spinner uh on your website look at this now it's telling me that it won't do it but earlier i did it i had the code for article spinner let's try something else uh write code for link shortener in HTML. Watch this. Here's an example of how you can create a link shortener using HTML. And you can actually copy and paste the code on your site. 
in HTML and it will look just like the freaking link shortener. So what can you do with this? You can drive traffic to this stuff. You can use it as a lead generator and all of that. And I'm gonna show you one more example as far as for coding and everything. Then we're gonna move on to more profitable things. So as you can see, this is the coding for the link shortener. Let's stop it right here. And I'm not trying to rush guys, but uh, I just have a lot to show you. OK, it's super exciting for you. So we're going to be talking about how marketing and content agencies can harness the power of this as well. Um, let's see about a day. Right. Code for a day trading bot. Hmm. Writing. OK, so now it's just giving you the example or the instructions for writing uh, a day trading bot. I guess they haven't taught it the code for how to do that yet. As I said, chat GT, uh, GPT is not self-aware like Skynet yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it only knows what they tell it, but it is given the instructions. We'll try another way of saying it. We'll just say write code for trading bot. Let's just leave as ah, telling me the same thing. One more try. One more try, guys. Hold your horses. Code. Let's just say code for trading bot. Ah, here we go. <laughs> Here's an example of a simple trading bot written in Python. See, when I was putting HTML, maybe it's not written in HTML or something like that. But as you can see, you know, see how HTML, I only know the simple HTML, CSS and CSS3 type, you know, code and stuff. You know, I'm not that advanced in that. I usually hire somebody for that. But this is how you can fire everybody. <laughs> Be first to fire people. Start slamming down your business, man. You know, uh, like the things that can be automated, you want to use. You want to use bots, robots, software, systems, and that type of stuff. Things like outreach. And we're going to get to that in a minute. <laughs> you know, prospecting for clients and all of that. That stuff, using these systems, these bots, these AI uh, projects and everything like chat, GPT, a lot of these things can uh, you can slim down, save you some money in your businesses and only use humans when it's time to like close deals, close sales and maybe even a little bit of customer service because you can kind of automate customer service with chatbots as well. OK, but you do want to keep a human element to your stuff until we get the iRobots with Will Smith. OK, so now, as you can see, that was some coding stuff. Those projects was cool, right? And then you can make a lot of money. You can go over there on Fiverr and you can put up gigs uh, for little simple games, little shooting games, fighting games. I'll, I will create the script for a fighting game for you or something like that. Or, or uh, you know, I will create a, a website code for website calculator. Look at this. Watch this. There are many different ways to create a calculator, blah, blah, blah. Here's an example of a simple calculator, HTML, CSS. Look at this. And then we're going to copy and paste it, and then we're going to put it on the site and see what it looks like, okay? So a lot of these are just the simple code, guys. It's not really functional until you do the other parameters and the other instructions that you have to do. But like I said, if you're an SEO or a marketing agency or something, I'm about to show you the content uh, side of this, the power of the content <laughs> is, is super crazy. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, it's spin text or, or it's going to be plagiarism. I ran the article. You just have to be creative, guys. I ran the article through a plagiarism checker and it did not have any like problems. There was no errors. There was no plagiarism in there. So you can literally like make a million freaking articles for your content. I mean, for your uh, for your uh, for your clients or something. You can probably like have your if you do want to keep a virtual assistant, give them the topics and have them run through and create the articles, uh, you know, request the articles through here on chat GPT and have them just overview it and read it and make sure there's no uh, problems with it or or anything like that. But the good thing about it is you can just turn an idea into reality with this. And that's the future of this stuff. So take a look at this, man. So it has the CSS code and it has the HTML code. Let's try this HTML code, y'all. Like I said, I, I'm not an expert at coding, 
I got one of my sites right here. We'll just type, uh, pop it in here and see what it looks like. <sighs> Boom. Oh, snap. <laughs> this is a website calculator right here. Okay, let's take the, what is that, the HTML part. Let's take the CSS part. I don't even know if you're supposed to put both of them in here or if there was like options or something. Like, <laughs> I don't know how it goes, guys. But I'm just showing you the use cases for this, how it actually works. Ah, yeah, see, I got it wrong, y'all. <laughs> I got it wrong. So if you don't have any uh, experience in this, guys, this is the part that you would hire somebody for. But as you can see, this is the simple calculator part right here. I don't know how you would like, you know, customize it or optimize it or something like that. But if you have any type of experience whatsoever in coding, like it says, you know, usually says at the bottom, hey, this is just a simple version and you can go ahead and, you know, modify how you want. Now, let's get to the fun part. Let's say you have 20 articles to write. Let's say you got a deadline and let's say that you want to, uh, you know, or you got a fiber gig up and you tell them, hey, I can create 20 articles for you for the same price as the rest of these fools in half the damn time. You understand? <laughs> All right, so check this out. You can come on here and we'll just use a, um, a good example. Watch this. Since we're talking about SEO, we're going to type in SEO then. How about this? Write a 3,500 uh, word article on the in importance of SEO include an info include code uh, for an infographic explaining SEO how SEO works include six videos uh, Include the URL to six videos explaining how SEO works. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to try this, y'all. Watch this. Let's see. Look, now, it's right out. It's right now. Hold on. Let me make this smaller, man. Look, it's writing out the dang on 3,500 word. Sometimes it don't give you the entire number that you requested or whatever. It stops when it thinks it explained it to the fullest or whatever. But <laughs> then you just go in there and think of more SEO terms or, you know, give, oh, I forgot to ask for FAQ section. See? So that's what you want to do, guys. You want to, like, make it extremely uh, specific when you make a request. If you just tell them, hey, give me an article on SEO then you might have to do a fact check for uh, plagiarism or something like that. It'll probably just take some stuff from the web and spin it and do all of that. But if you very specific, if you tell it the type of SEO, if you say the importance of SEO, if you say bring me an infographic, if you say give me an FAQ section, include some video examples and all of that extra stuff like that, then it's going to be a unique piece of content and it will work very well when you put it in the plagiarism checker and you'll be able look at it creating this, uh, the code right here for the infographic. It looks weird as hell. I don't, I don't know why it looks like that. Probably because my computer is acting up. I got a Mac, but I'm running parallels right now so that I can run my Windows software on the other side. And I'm about to show y'all what I got running on the other side. Some more robots and uh, you SEOs and marketing agencies are going to be excited to see these robots that I'm going to show you today. OK. Ah, yes, yes, yes. So as you can see, it forgot to give me the links to the videos. But I would just uh, copy all of this. You know, you would copy all of this. That's already pretty much half of the article. And it has the infographic, too. You understand? Let me copy that and see if I can. Did I even ask for it in HTML? I ain't asked for it in HTML. Gee, I was supposed to ask for the uh, infographic in HTML. I don't even know what the heck that is. What is this? No, I don't, know that. <laughs> I don't know. It was some type of error, y'all. 
Uh, but like I said, they still got some kinks to work out, but it's super impressive. Now, let me see. Uh, write code to infographic explaining how SEO works. Let's see how it works this time. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, I keep forgetting to say in HTML. Look. <laughs> anyway, forget it, guys. Y'all, y'all see. But yeah, you basically say in HTML or whatever uh, language that you uh, write your websites in and stuff. I was supposed to put. I was doing is writing out an infographic, but it was supposed. To, it was supposed. To, hold on, let me try one more time. Okay, hold on. Okay. Let's try it one more time. And then you put in HTML. And then we'll go ahead and I'll show you some of the robots that I have working on the other side, on my Windows side of this computer that uh, is doing outreach for clients, that is scraping the Instagram for leads, doing all of that stuff while I'm talking to you guys and working. Okay. So, hey, there we go. See? I say write code to infographic explaining how SEO works in HTML. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it over there on the site and we'll see uh, what it looks like. <laughs> this is my first time trying this, guys. So you just come over here and experiment. There's a lot of things that you can do. You understand? Like I've been making comparison articles and stuff like, um, you know, uh, compare the top limousine companies in Los Angeles include their Google reviews, include their contact information, include uh, uh, their fleet and all of that extra. Dude, <laughs> this is like a cheat code for marketers. You understand? And it's just beginning. So, okay. So let's go ahead and take the code from right here. Look at this. No. All right. Boom. Let's open this up. I don't know what that was. Um, this is an ugly infographic, but <laughs> that's the infographic. I guess it's something you gotta like do. I don't, I don't, I, I'm still trying this out, y'all. So, <laughs> but as you can see, that's the code for it. You understand? So, as you see, I'll show you guys the link, the your the shortener. Uh, you can create URL shortener for it. You can create games and different apps. You can like create content. You can like search and get answers just like you're on Google or something. This is super powerful, man, and it's open AI. This is free right here. So I'm going to give you in the description uh, a list of things that you can create with this or use this for. You can automate fully your outreach and trying to get clients and everything, and you can automate the fulfillment for content creation you can even get movie scripts tell it to you uh, there's a lot of people creating ebooks and audio books straight from this that's crazy you can tell it to uh you know create a, a little bedtime story or something and or, or or write an article in spanish and start ranking in different languages and doing all type of crazy stuff you don't even have to know the language you just tell them hey explain this in spanish and then it'll do it and <laughs> Come on, y'all. This is crazy. All right, now let's come over here and I'm going to show you this. So this is the software right here that we will use to scrape the information uh, for outreach. So if you're an agency, marketing agency, coach, uh, health, fitness coach, you sell some type of product, it doesn't matter what it is. All right, this software right here is super awesome and it will scrape, it will scrape, it will scrape, it will scrape. All right, so we're over here. We're going to put this right here. Bop, 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 bop. Remember, I'm going to give you all of my softwares. If you go to the link in the description and you sign up for Build a Roll, I'll be able to transfer everything to you. And you'll pretty much have a business set up completely. That is super nice of me, isn't it? Yes, go to the link in the description. Okay, so maximum result. Boom, we'll just put 10,000. And then we'll just say... Uh, We'll say roofers. Boom. Then we're going to choose the account. Then we're going to press start. So what it's going to do is going to get the user ID, names, and all of that extra stuff like that. 
of um, people that have accounts on Instagram. So as you can see, look, it's gathering all of that stuff, you know, user ID, blah, 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 doing all of that. It will go all the way up to like 10,000, like I showed it to right here. So while that's running, I'm going to show you one of the other softwares. And this will be an extremely long video if I did this fully. Basically, what's going to happen is once this is done running, I'm going to export this. Then I'm going to take this to the information users section and I'm going to upload these user IDs only. And then it's going to extract their names. If they're male, female, their uh, location, their website, their their uh, usernames on social media is going to give me their phone numbers, their emails and all of that. So I can do email blasts. I can do ringless voicemail blasts. I can do uh, the software that I'm going to show you in a minute will automatically email them and it will automatically DM them and comment. So this is pretty much how you automate outreach. And then when they respond, we have an autoresponder on Instagram that will automatically send them links to our products and webinars and, and booking calendars and all of that. Good. So this is what I'm trying to tell you. Your prospecting and your outreach and all of that, you can go ahead and get rid of them VAs. If you need to keep some VAs to help you, then let that be the ones that's going to close for you. The ones that's going to get on the phone or get on Zoom and close the deals for you. But as far as prospecting, there's no need for... <laughs> humans anymore. And that's the fear of this chat GPT and the rest of these AI bots. They are making humans obsolete the same way Amazon is doing that in a warehouse. This is the trend, guys. So you need to up your value so that you don't get replaced. You have to up your skill level so that you don't get replaced. So as you can see, it's already on 324. I'm going to move that out the way. Then I'm going to open up this software right here. So first, let me show you this. This is how we program it. One of the ways to program it. So we're going to open it up in Notepad. Boom. So this is where it's going to start at. This is going to be the starting line. I'll go ahead and start it at 410. So I'm going to explain what this is. You see this 4086 right here? This is this right here. Remember, I told you the software that I was just showing you that's black is scraped all the 4,086 realtors, numbers, phone numbers, all of that extra stuff. So we're on line uh, 410. So that's where it's going to start so that it doesn't lock up my Instagram account. I got it on a 240 second delay and you still want to watch it every now and then check back and stuff like that. But it's pretty much automated. So what it's going to do is it's going to open up. Uh, the last post that they made on their Instagram, then it's going to leave this as a comment. Howdy, I sent you a private message about some referrals for this week. They'll want to see some property starting Monday. Can you DM me your availability so that I don't need to find another realtor? Boom. So put a little bit of scarcity in there so they can go and check their DM because we all know that if they're not our friend, they're not going to see our DM. Right. So then after that, what it's going to do is it's going to take a little second, then it's going to go to it's going to DM them. So once it DM them, it's going to open up this and it's going to say, hey, I'm offering to send you dozens of upscale pre-approved referrals if you can handle them. What's your availability for showings this week? I'm going to say multiple. Multiple showings are and open house this week boom so basically i'm giving them the uh, impression that it's a lot of people that i'm trying to send and they all are pre-approved and got a lot of money okay so so what's your availability for showings and are an open house this week Boom. So then all I'm going to do is save this bow. Then I'm going to close it out. Boom. Then I'm going to come to the application right here. Wow. All right. So as you can see, the prompt, watch what the prompt is going to do. And you see the other one is still working in the background. Is it is it 354? Um, contacts right now over there on Instagram. 
Now I'm waiting for this to start running. Hmm. Maybe I gotta start it over. Hold on. Ah, look at that. And I just exited it out. See, it's taking, it took a while. So now I gotta open it back up, y'all. See, patience is a dang on virtue, all right? All right, so let me, <laughs> let me open it up. Come back over here. I guess it was just taking a second because I got I got a lot of software running right now, guys. So I can show y'all this. I hope you appreciate it by hitting the like and sub. You understand? Because I'm showing y'all like the background of my automations. If you go on my channel all the way to the beginning of the scam demic in 2020, when I was talking about when I introduced the world to the real way to drop service, you'll see a video where I said automating. You can automate drop servicing for profits. I was one of the first ones using these bots to make money <laughs> that I know of that, you know, besides the people that actually built the bots. I'm talking about like marketer agency and all of that. I was running things like iMacros and doing all these different things, you know, to automate the process for outreach. And, and you know, so as you can see, it's opening up Instagram on its own. It's going to log in for me. Boom. So what you guys think so far? Let me know in the comments what you think so far. Is this stuff mind blowing? What did you think about the chat GPT earlier? OK, so then we're going to hit not now. All right. What I want to do is I want to widescreen this so you guys can pretty much get a, a real good view. All right. So now that I'm logged in to IG, I'm going to hit enter. Like I said, go to the link in the description, sign up for Build Raw, get the premium account, and I will send you these softwares and automations for free, plus how to use them. Might even create some type of little private group for this and help you guys sell your products. Imagine this. Imagine how you can, uh, what, what if you can scrape all the, you know, uh, a specific niche that uses a specific software. You go and get the affiliate link to that specific software or uh, uh, for these people that need that software that will make their company or their business uh, run smoother. And now you can scrape all their information and you put it in this uh, program right here. <clears throat> and then what it's gonna do, okay, hold on. What it's gonna do is, is going to freaking, um, <laughs> You're going to be able to, uh, what was I saying? What, what the hell happened to it? Okay, there we go. Uh, there we go. I don't know what's going on, guys. Hey, I think I'm running too many dang on softwares. Let me delete this. Profit, positioning, prospects. And then press next. There we go. Okay. Stuff be acting up when you're doing stuff um, <laughs> live or when you're recording, you know. All right, let me pay attention so I can make sure I got the right password. You understand? So <laughs> you can have this running in the background while you're doing your videos. You can have this running in the background while you're watching TV. You can have this in the background while you're making love. No, you can have this in the background while you're having fun. You got a party going, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You can program it to pause after a certain amount of time or stop after a certain amount of time. So it's like having an in-house employee literally working for you, doing your outreach and all of that. So you just pay for it one time and you don't have to pay for any uh, monthly this or monthly that or anything like that. OK, so as you can see, we get some re, uh, some people responding and all of that extra stuff. So what I'm going to do now to make it run now that I'm logged in both of these, you have to log into Gmail and Instagram if you want it to be able to do what I'm showing you. <clears throat> so boom. So now that I pressed enter, what it's going to do is reopen Instagram again. This is extremely powerful, y'all. So that's what I'm saying. These bots. And it seemed like it's taking a long time because everything running slow because I'm recording. I got Zoom running. I got uh, my Mac side running. I'm running Parallels. Parallels is a software that will allow you to run Windows programs 
on a Mac computer. So that's slowing my computer down right now. And then not only that, I'm running this Instagram scraper that I just showed you guys a minute ago. Plus, I'm running this app right here that's about to do this uh, do this example right here. So <clears throat> as you can see, it says process in line 410. Let me close this out so that you can see. Look, you see down here, it got the comment right there. Boom. Ah, dude. <laughs> I'm going to let it keep running. Uh, uh, <laughs> I told you everything goes wrong when you when you live or something like that. I think I was supposed to run, uh, log into my other account. So it's still trying to send a DM, but it's not going to be able to send a dang on DM because um, <laughs> it's restricted for a little minute. As you can see, I think it said it will open back up on Christmas or something. But OK, so we already sent a message to her. Oh, dang. Anyway, I need to remember what numbers I'm on. Right. All right. So it's sending in another minute. Dang. I thought it was restricted. I guess it's just restricted for comment right now. But uh, so basically, uh, OK, so now that it did that, what it's going to do is it's going to uh, it's going to wait a little second and then it's going to open up Gmail and it's going to send Gmail. Right. So you just uh, you know what I want to talk about while it's doing that. <laughs> Tell me in the comments, man, how cool is this to be able to just have something running for you in the background? If you got multiple computers, multiple accounts, then it's even better. So just imagine, OK, you got three uh, you got three employees. What if you had a VPS and, you know, you, you have multiple and you can make it seem like you have multiple different computers from different locations and you install this uh, software on multiple computers. So you got three computers all running this at the same time. So it's like you got three different uh, um, employees working for you and you don't have to pay them anything per hour. You don't have to pay for any insurance, health insurance, no sign on bonuses. You don't have to worry about them being too sleepy to come in. You don't have to worry about them um, calling off or, or some type of holiday or some crap like that. Okay, you ain't got to worry about none of that. Ain't that crazy? Ain't that awesome, y'all? Like, Come on, man. Tell me what's up, y'all. Tell me what's up. This is why people are fearing these type of uh, programs. You know, this right here is is not per se. I, I guess it would be a form of artificial intelligence. But like I said, it's not to the point of like self-awareness type stuff. But none of this stuff is at the point of self-awareness right now. The point is you can leverage this to make your life, your business, all of that stuff, your tasks easy. You know what I'm saying? You know, less time consuming. So what the heck is going on? Why is it taking so long to open up Gmail? Man? Where is it? Hold on. I think it's going to open up Gmail. I think I should have logged into a different dang on account. So you want to make sure you have multiple accounts. You know, because Instagram is a uh, Instagram are a holes. You understand? <laughs> Instagram are a holes. Let me see what it's saying down here. Oh, okay. So the the email was empty. So that's why we didn't see anything. Okay. Okay. So yeah, it, it wasn't an email for uh, line four ten. So it's waiting, as you can see right here, waiting two hundred and forty seconds to continue to the next row. I did that on purpose so that we can avoid exactly what you just saw, the restriction. But Instagram and Facebook, they are so dang on. Oh, they get on my last nerve, man. They can figure out when you run into some type of software, dude. So basically, you just want to play around with the timing. You know what I'm saying? You come in here. If you can catch a pattern, it doesn't matter how long you go. You can say, don't send a message for three years. <laughs> If it can catch the pattern that is three years exactly or something, then it, it'll mess you up. You know, it'll, it'll, it'll go ahead and pause you. So like I said, I'm going to close this out. Uh, you just need to have, you know, at least a few Instagram accounts, you know, and uh, you can do this starting off on one computer and all of that. It depends on how much outreach you need to do. It depends on how much you want to sell. 
obviously sales is a numbers game most of the time. You understand? And uh, just make your move. You understand? Like, make your move, right? So go to the link in the description. I want you to go ahead and sign up for a builder role. And I will transfer you the apps and the softwares that you saw working today doing this thing. And just make sure you're smarter than me. <laughs> okay, so I'm going I'm to give you some parameters. <clears throat> tell you to come back in a couple hours you know you don't have to be by the computer that's what i'm trying to say like you come back set your time or come back in a couple hours and then change the 240 seconds back to 180 seconds and then leave again and you know later on maybe like four hours later before you get ready to go to bed you can change it back to 240 the goal is to not let instagram catch up on the pattern but other than that it's going to be sending your emails uh on autopilot you ain't got to worry about getting blacklisted because you did some blast through Gmail. You know, on Gmail, you can send 500 emails per day. But if you send them too fast, most of them will go straight to the, the spam folder. But if you do it like this, where it's more human and realistic, sending one at a time after it's already been over there on Instagram, then it'll go to the inbox most of the time. Right. All right. And I got some other softwares and I'm excited to show you guys. Uh, in a, coming up in a couple of more videos. But what do you guys think? Should people fear chat GPT based off of what I showed you, based off showing you that it can just create code out of thin air. It can create content out of thin air. It can create scripts for videos, movies, TV shows, and books out of thin air. You might have to do a little bit of editing to make it you know, human, but like, damn, that's crazy, right? So what y'all think? Should they fear or should they be excited? I know for one, I am excited more than 